Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are making another tier list, namely that of mercenary units from Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion Expansion, and this same holds true for the remastered version and the original one. And the tier list is based on campaign setting, so kind of the ease of recruitment, uh, possible experience, costs and so on affect the results as well, in addition to the poor fighting capabilities. And let's begin with cavalry. First we have Alan Noble cavalry, mercenary version, and they are heavy cavalry, they have very high morale, they hit hard, they last long, and they have good stamina, and additionally they get one experience when you purchase them. Of course the purchasing price is rather high, but the upkeep costs are reasonable, and especially if you are playing a Roman faction, then in the long run these guys will actually be cheaper than the cavalry you can recruit from your own city. So, especially useful for Roman factions, perhaps not quite so useful for barbarian factions, but useful nonetheless. And this puts them somewhere around here. I'm wondering if they are weak, S tier or strong good tier. Let's put them here for now. Then we have Armored Camel Riders, another heavy cavalry unit. However, their stats are not quite as good as these guys' stats. And um, of course they get bonus fighting cavalry and because of the lower speed I think they get a penalty fighting infantry because they are not as maneuverable as infantry. And they are a bit more expensive and to recruit and significantly more expensive to maintain. So these guys cost about 2,500 denarii per turn and these guys cost about 320. So as camel riders come, I think these are clearly on the better end of those units, but um, not near as good as these Alan nobles here. Then we have the basic camel riders, rather cheap, 500 uh, rec recruitment cost or purchasing cost and an upkeep cost of 170 denarii, about. Of course, they are quite weak, um, they don't stand well in battle, especially against infantry, so perhaps in some cases if you cannot get other units, they might be useful. Uh, but um, I think, um, and of course the lower upkeep for Roman factions might make them beneficial for Roman factions, but I don't really like them, so for me they are kind of terrible because of the slow speed and they are really not that good in the fight. Of course the cost, cost is beneficial for them, so let's say they are high in the terrible tier. Then we have for the Rati cavalry, they cost 700 denarii to recruit, their upkeep cost is over 3,500 denarii, so the most expensive unit to maintain this far, and I mean, their fighting capabilities are rather similar to those of camel riders, but in my experience these guys break really fast, I don't think you should get these unless you really really need to have something, I, I mean they are terrible. They break too easily, perhaps they can use, be used to hunt down fleeing enemies or so on, but really, in my opinion, not worth it in most of the cases. Then we have perhaps the heaviest unit in the whole game, or at least in these mercenaries, Kral Knights. And um, these really cost much, uh, about 2,900 uh, 2, denarii recruitment and upkeep cost is over 400 denarii. Of course, they have very high morale, they hit hard, they have exceptionally good armor, and they come with three experience points. Uh, the downside is that the unit size is half of the normal unit size, so that really hampers their usability. And um, I think they are cool to test out, how this kind of really heavy cavalry uh, fares in the battlefield, but once they have been tested, at least for me, the cost is too high. I mean, 
you can get two of these units. Uh, that means four times the actual men than in this unit, so that's the reason they get placed in the mu tier. Then we have Mercenary Equites Veterani. Um, these guys have um, uh, the experience going for them. So they come with two experience, they are fast. Um, in battle, well, they are not particularly good, but at least better than that for the Ratsy Cavalry, and actually their upkeep is about a similar level than those. So, because of mostly because of the experience they come with, they get a place in OK tier for me, but um, they are not very reliable. So, for example, head-on cavalry battle, I wouldn't use these, but um, I think in addition to hunting down fleeing enemies, they can be used to attack enemy rear and flanks in some cases. Of course, you need to prepare for them to break, especially if they stay in the combat longer periods of time, but they are much more useful than this for the Ratsy Cavalry here. And then we have more riders. Um, their cost, uh, recruitment cost is a bit less than 600 denarii, and the upkeep cost is about 200 denarii, so basically um, and their stats are pretty similar to that mercenary for the Ratsy Cavalry, or for the Ratsy Cavalry that can be recruited, for example, for Western Roman Empire at all. So, um, because of the costs, I think these guys are always superior to the uh, trained for the Ratsy Cavalry. The stats are pretty much similar, but the costs are much lower, and I think for that reason they get a place in B tier. You cannot expect them to survive uh, too well in the battle. They come without experience, uh, but they are good for hunting down fleeing enemy units, and perhaps they can do some skirmishing as well. Some hit and run tactics and so on. So I think they are okay. And then it's time to move to infantry category. First, we have Bosporan infantry mercenaries uh, that cost about seven and half hundred denarii to recruit, and uh, the upkeep is 240 denarii. They are solid infantry with decent morale. Uh, rather nice attack for spear unit and decent enough defense. And they have good morale, they have good stamina, and um, because of those factors and that they wear spears, in my opinion they are one of the best spear units in the game. Of course that means that you can throw them against, for example, Comitatensis and expect them to win, but they are very solid against enemy cavalry. And since um, the Roman factions, well, perhaps particularly Western Roman Empire, lacks solid spear infantry, unless you get, uh, get Auxilia Palatina. So I think these are quite solid and useful units, and because of that, they earn a place in good tier. Then we have for the Ratti infantry, I mean, uh, the... For the Ratti infantry you can train, it's horrible, and these guys are not too far behind. So basically, if you need uh, troops quickly, then perhaps you should recruit these, but otherwise I don't really see a reason why you would want to get these guys too much. So, because of that, they go to strong, terrible tier. Then we have Galauglas, kind of cheap infantry to recruit, very cheap to maintain, about 150 denarii. They are kind of offensive troops, so they have high attack, decent enough morale. Uh, the defense leaves something to hope for, especially against arrows. But they hit hard, they have war cry to boost their attack, and they get um, 
usually one experience when you recruit them, so that kind of buffs them a bit to the battle as well. And mainly because of the uh, cost-value ratio, I think these guys earn a place in A tier. Of course, the area from which you can recruit these guys and also the Bosporan infantry is rather limited, but I think both of them are actually worth it. Uh, these guys are much more better than, for example, for the Rati infantry, and they are much cheaper than them, uh, at least to maintain. So. I think they are a solid investment in any campaign, practically. Cheap units that are decent enough. Then we have Golden Band. They are somewhat more expensive to recruit, costing 1000 denarii. The upkeep is reasonable enough. They have very high morale, they have um, exceptionally high attack, and of course here as well, the defenses leave a bit to hope for. In some areas they come with experience, which is of course good, but um, mainly because of the higher cost, I think these guys are just okay instead of this weak good tier that these uh, Galo glass glasses get. And then we have the last uh, infantry unit, mercenary veterani, practically legionaries, and the heaviest mercenary infantry you can get. And usually these guys come with two experience points, which makes them quite a bit stronger, and basically in head-to-head -head combat you can use these and expect them to win against everyone except perhaps Comitatensi's first cohort which is stronger because it has more men and higher morale than these guys. But really solid infantry that you can rely on, and since at least some of the factions have rather weak infantry roster, for example Bear Burst, uh, this is rather their only option to get decent enough infantry in the game. So especially for that faction, these are really important. Uh, as they have the experience, I think they are better than normal comitatensis. Of course, they are a bit on the expensive side. Recruitment cost is about 1200 denarii, and the upkeep cost is 440 denarii, so there is a bit less than 100 denarii more than normal comitatensis. But um, nonetheless, I think these guys are worth the investment especially since you don't need to build the high-tier barracks to get these guys. And because of this, I think they earn their place in good tier. And then we have missile units. First, ballistas and or mercenary ballistas. Um, usually I don't like siege units too much because they slow the, down the armies and so on. And I like to keep the pace in the campaign play rather fast. So usually I don't like siege weapons, but in this case, since you can recruit these guys right before you start to besiege a settlement, and then you can rush the settlement directly, uh, that makes these units worthy in some situations. And because of that, kind of instant recruitment, these guys get a place in a high mere tier. But uh, aside from that one purpose of assaulting cities quickly, I don't see any purpose for these units. They cost 600 denarii to recruit and 2,500 denarii to maintain. So not really, really good units in battles, in my opinion. Then we have Mercenary Bukalari. Um, kind of a um, special missile unit. They have short range, but their attack is armor piercing. They cost a bit less than 600 denarii to recruit. The upkeep cost is over 250 denarii, rather okay. And because of that armor piercing capability, I think um, these guys, at least in some situations, are worth it for example in city defenses and so on, but if you need to face enemy missile cavalry or enemy missile units, then these guys 
a kind of suffering. So basically you can use these guys to hit enemy heavy infantry and preferably engaged enemy heavy infantry and perhaps uh, engaged enemy heavy cavalry. So that's where they shine. In other scenarios they are not that good. So because of these factors they get weak okay tier for me. Then let's move to horse archers or um, missile cavalry. First we have Alan horse archers. The cost is about a bit over 800 uh, denarii to recruit. The, up the upkeep cost is uh, rather laughable, 200 denarii per turn. They have normal missile range, decent enough morale, a bit of armor. Um, but since kind, uh, missile cavalry is really good in Rome total war and especially in barbarian invasion, I think these guys have earned their place in superior tier and they are quite widely available as well and usually they come with some experience which further makes them useful and, that, and additionally I think they are cheaper to maintain than at least the Western Roman missile cavalry units and they have higher stats as well. For, so if you play with Western Roman Empire and want to have missile cavalry and you always want to have missile cavalry then you need should recruit these guys. They are always worth it. Then we have mercenary hippotoxotai, a bit of uh, in the expensive side, recruitment cost of 1200 denarii, Upkeep cost a bit over for uh, 370 denarii. The stats are weaker than with these Alan horse archers and they don't usually come with additional experience so clearly weaker than this unit but still decent enough missile cavalry and that earns them place in good tier. I'm just wondering where in here? Let's put them right there. Yeah, solid, good unit. And then finally we have Sarmation Archers or Sarmation Armored Archers and these guys are kind of the pinnacle of the missile cavalry here. They have similar missile stats than the Alan Horse Archers but they hit harder in melee and they last longer in melee and they come with more experience so they are overall better than these guys. Of course to offset that they cost uh, 1250 denarii to recruit but the upkeep cost is a bit over 200 so these guys are as well a worthy investment in my opinion always when you can recruit them. Of course the uh, high recruitment cost stings a bit when you hire these guys but the kind of reasonable upkeep costs make up for this and they are really useful in the battle as all horse archers are. So here is my estimate of the usability in the campaign setting of barbarian invasion of each of these mercenary units. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments field below. Do you agree or disagree? Did I miss something or did I make a mistake somewhere? Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Have a great rest of the day. Quality Old Games out.